Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B and I'm back with another one. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. Spirit, I ask that you allow me to channel the message that you have for myself and the collective. If there is any negative energy around me, I ask that you remove it. If there is any black magic or spells coming my way or the collective's way, I ask that you block them. We thank you and we love you. Hope you guys are having a blessed day as usual. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying cool. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that are viewing the channel but have yet to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on the messages that God has for you. Also, please remember to take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for. Every message will not be your message. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and hop in and see what's going on. Y'all, the new you has people all up in their feelings. <laughs> you know, a lot of people... They love the new you. A lot of people don't, you know. Those that love the new you, they're proud of you, you know. They want you to keep going. Those that don't like the new you, you know, it's because of envy and jealousy. Whoever these people are, you know, they, they fear change. They, 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 they feel like that, you know. They don't know how you, you know, made this transformation. They don't, they don't know how... You know, you, you got through everything that you've gotten through and you're still standing. You know, I feel like whoever these people are, they, you know, know of God, but they don't know who God is. You know, I feel like these are people, you know, that when something goes wrong in their life, that's when they want to pray. But when things, you know, aren't going wrong in their life you know they don't acknowledge God at all you know and us as 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 God's children regardless you know if it's going good or not we're always supposed to acknowledge God we're always supposed to humble ourselves you know to make sure that we let God know through the good and the bad times that you know we are thankful and so I do feel like that you know there are a lot of people that definitely don't like the new you but whoever these people are, it's because they choose to stay stagnant in their life. They choose, you know, to continue to operate, you know, in, 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 in negativity. Whoever you are, you definitely have chosen, you know, to spiritually awaken, get on the path, you know, that God has set before you. And, and, and they're seeing, you know, the benefits of that. But again, whoever these people are, they see the benefits of them getting on their path, on their purpose. But, and it's, and it's, they're seeing it through you. But whoever these people are, they're just scared, you know. And God has not instilled the fear in us at all. You know, he is not the author of fear nor confusion. So I don't know who, you know, that was for, but yeah. There are people that, you know, are proud of you, you know, the new you. But there are a lot of people that, you know, they don't like the new you. But it's, and a part of it is because they don't know who they are, you know. And so if, if, if you don't know who you are, then when you see other people going through transformation, you look at them like they're fake. So anyway... Let's get into this message, y'all. Spirit, allow me to channel. Yeah, somebody has a lot of questions to ask you, you know. And it could be about your transformation. It could be about, you know, how you, you know, went through everything that you went through and, and got through it. I feel like it shows, you know, I feel like that, you know, there are no words that need to be said. I feel like that it shows. But whoever these people are, 
I feel like that they wouldn't even believe you if you told them. But they do. They have somebody has a lot of questions to ask you. What else, spirit? Hold on, y'all. Let me put the camera down a smidge. Excuse my arm. Well, somebody has a lot of questions to ask here, spirit. Yeah, the highest in the room. So whoever you are, you know, when you walk into the room, you possibly, you know, your 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 light shines bright, you know. You don't have to say too much of anything. That's why I was picking up the energy that, you know, there are no words that can explain, you know, this transformation. There's no words that, it, that can explain the new you, you know. It's the God in you. So with that being said, yeah, with the highest in the room. Whoever this is that has a lot of questions to ask you, you know, it could be because a lot of people do see your light. A lot of people see the God in you. And so with that being said, this person already acknowledges the fact that, you know, in any room, you are the highest in it. But this person, I feel like, really wants to know, you know, they have a lot of questions, but the proof is in the pudding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, your wishes are coming true. And so, yeah, I do feel like that whoever this is, they really want to know. But I don't feel like that they they want to ask questions to see how they can, you know, make their wishes come true. The, the problem is, you know, they have to want to be the highest in the room. You know, they have to want, you know, their light to shine in the darkness. Whoever this is, I feel like that, you know, they don't allow their light to shine in the darkness. It's because they operate in the dark versus you operate in the light. And that's one of the reasons why your wishes are coming true. But whoever this is, they, they really want to ask these questions to figure out how the, how they can make their wishes come true. Yeah. Blinded by the light. The truth is at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like that you, you do. You know, you blind a lot of people with your light. But, but not only do you, not only is it your light, when you open your mouth, you speak truth. Whoever you are. And I feel like that that truth helps other people in their life. And then on top of that, that truth is what make, sets you apart from everybody else in the room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's keep going. We have hidden cameras here. I don't know what this hidden cameras is about. But I do feel like that whatever these hidden cameras are about, I do feel like that it has something to do with your wishes are coming true. So something, you know, could have been found out, could have been seen on these hidden cameras, you know. Maybe, you know, when you were in a room or when you were somewhere, maybe something was stolen from you. You know what I'm saying? And it was and it was caught on camera. Maybe that's what this person wants to ask questions about. I don't know, but this hidden camera, it, it came out. And then I put it back and it came back out. So this hidden camera is very relevant to this message. Somebody has a lot of questions to ask. Why is this here, spirit? And maybe, you know, on these hidden cameras, maybe, you know, somebody saw, you know, an angel or something around you. Somebody has a lot of questions to ask, please, Spirit. 
Ah, snowball effect. So maybe somebody got caught doing something, you know, on camera. You know, this could be a friend, this could be a family member, this could be a co-worker, an ex-co-worker. And maybe, you know, because they see the God in you, you know, because they see that, you know, you do have, you know, spiritual power and they see that your wishes are coming true. Maybe whoever this is, you know, they got caught on camera, you know, doing something and maybe, you know, um, things are, you know, piling up for this person with a snowball effect. You know, something that was small, you know, is getting bigger now. And maybe whoever this is, you know, that has a lot of questions to ask you maybe they want to ask you you know how they can possibly surrender to spirit you know how can they you know basically transform their life so that they won't operate in toxic karmic negative energy anymore but I do feel like that's that something happened somebody was caught on camera doing something and and it's it, it's getting out of control with the snowball effect here it could be a Leo or they could have it in their chart or this person, you know, just looks at you as very, very strong. You know, they do see your light. They see the power within you. Why is this highest in the room here, Spirit? But there is someone that, you know, does have a lot of questions. And like I said, you know, it could be a family member. It could be a friend, a co-worker, a neighbor. It's, some, it's someone that you've been around before. Someone that's been in your energy. Someone that definitely can see your light. Someone that you could be cold as ice to. Because <laughs> that flipped over. Snowball effect. Highest in the room, yeah. Karma never loses an address. So whoever this is, you know, they are going through some type of karma. They definitely are going through some type of karma. And so whoever this is, you know, because they, they do know that you, you know, hold spiritual power. They know that, you know, your light shines bright. They know that your wishes are coming true. I feel like whoever this is, they possibly have saw you go through a transformation in your life. And so because things are, 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 you know, getting out of control for whoever this is, especially with these hidden cameras here, they know that they're going through karma. They possibly want to see how they, they can possibly change their life now. Mm -hmm. Your wishes are coming true. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever this is, they, 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 they definitely are bitter, broke. And they feel bound. And so because they see that your wishes are coming true, I do feel like that it's giving me like the magician energy. You know what I mean? Like you're manifesting things at a rapid pace. And and I, I feel like that it, it amazes people, you know. But these are the same people that, you know, they know of God, but they don't know God. And so they don't know really who God is and what God can really do. And so I feel like that because this person has been living, you know, a toxic life style, they're going through karma and they're trying to get out of it. They're trying to get out of it. But I don't feel like that whoever this is understands that that's a part of the process, you know, regardless of if you try to change your life, you know, you're still going to have to answer, you know, to 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 the most high about what you did you know you just can't wipe it clean because you want to transform yeah you can transform you can surrender all day but you still are going to have to answer why are these hidden cameras here spirit oh delaying destiny so whoever this is they 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 have come to some type of realization that they have been delaying their own destiny they have been delaying their own destiny Whoever this is, whatever they did on hidden camera that basically has them caught, that they're basically feeling like that they're getting karma for, you know, they, they realize that they have been delaying their own destiny. And so whoever you are, you know, 
um, evidently they, they know that you know something, you know, they look at you as the highest in the room when you're in a room. So they, so they feel like that, you know, a lot of things. And with this delaying destiny here, you know, being it's a green card, you know, it could have, they could have been doing some things when it comes to, to money, you know? And so that could be why they're, they're feeling bitter, broke and bound because of their finances. Maybe, you know, this is a co-worker. Maybe, you know, they were, you know, doing things at work that they weren't supposed to be doing. And maybe the job was a part of their destiny. So they could be bitter, you know, at work. You know, they could be broke because they possibly lost the job because they were caught on camera. And now they feel bound because of this karma and possibly, you know, legal action that is going to be taken against them. But it doesn't have to be. But I do, I do feel like that with that delaying destiny be a green card it, it's it's about finances mm -hmm. yeah we have karma 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 at the bottom of the deck and whoever this is they see that you are a visionary they see that you are a visionary and so whoever this is you know they look at you you know as as, as a leader they look at you as somebody that can you know help them through you know uh, uh, this situation and so, that's why they have a lot of questions that they want to ask you. Snowball effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever they did. Again, I do feel like it has something to do with finances. You know, they could just be an overspender or getting caught on camera, possibly, you know, stealing money. I don't know. But they, 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 they know that they realize that they were delaying their own destiny. And they and they know that, you know, a soft a hard head makes a soft behind. So yeah. Whoever this is, they definitely know that what they did was wrong. And and then and they do know that they're gonna have to answer. Period. Karma never loses an address. Mm-hmm. Wolf and sheep clothing. So whoever this is, you know, they definitely could have been a wolf in sheep clothing to you. I did see that cold as ice card that wanted to uh, come out, but it didn't. And so you could possibly, you know, not even be communicating with this person. Maybe, you know, this person did something to you to where you, you don't want to deal with this person. You know, it could have happened, you know, at work. It could be a family situation. It could be, you know, any type of situation. But you and this person have been in a room together. This person has watched you go through a transformation. But whoever this is, they were a wolf in sheep clothing. And I feel like that with this hard head makes a soft behind. This person, you know, realizes that they were being hard headed in doing whatever they did to you for you to deem them as fake as a wolf in sheep clothing. And and now, you know, with everything out on the on the board, whoever this is, they have a lot of questions to ask you, but they're scared. And so that's the energy that I was picking up at the beginning of the message. Bitter broken down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Advocating for yourself makes your ancestors happy. So, yeah. You could have, you know, advocated for yourself against this person. Maybe, you know, this person, you know, is, is has ha done something to deem, for you to deem them as a wolf in sheep clothing, for you to deem them as fake. And you definitely did stand up for yourself, you know, against this person. And it definitely does make your ancestors happy. That 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 is a leadership quality. You know what I'm saying? Stand for something or fall for anything. And so, yeah, I do feel like that you advocating for yourself made your ancestors happy. But I feel like that you advocating for yourself against this person, you know, has put this person, you know, in kind of a, a tim intimidated energy, you know, when it comes to, you know, coming towards you to ask you these questions. Delaying destiny. Yeah, whoever this is, yeah, they possibly were lying on your good name, you know. They were lying on your good name. That's what they were doing. So again, it could be a co-worker, friend, family member, lover, ex-lover. Delaying destiny.
I, I'm really picking up that, you know, this person, they really want to surrender to spirit. They want to go through a transformation, but they just don't know how to come to you to ask for help. And it's because, you know, they were wolf of sheep clothing to you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Next. So, yeah, I feel like that you possibly told, you know, this person to exit stage left out of your life. But whoever this is, you know, they, they did something on camera and possibly got caught. And, and, and whatever they were doing, it, it definitely was a part of their destiny, you know. But they got caught. And so, yeah, they realized that they were de delaying destiny. And they feel like that, you know, it's over. It's a done deal. And so whoever this is, I do feel like that they want to try to come back to you to ask you how do they get back on track you know how do they get you know on the path that they, that they know that God had laid before them you know I feel like that they want to ask you you know it, it, does delaying destiny means that I don't get to fulfill my destiny you know what do I need to do mm -hmm. Let's keep going. But whoever you are, I do feel like that, you know, even if, you know, you deem this person as a wolf in sheep clothing, you know, if it comes to, you know, helping to better this person's life, if it comes to helping, you know, this, this person go through a transformation, you know, spiritually awaken, you know, and get on their spiritual journey, I feel like that you would do that because that is a part of your purpose. Your light shines bright for a reason so that others can see it so that they want their light to shine bright you know so they can walk in their spiritual power but whoever this is whatever they did to you they feel like that was well, just scares them you know to think that they can come towards you you know to ask for any type of help somebody has a lot of questions to ask We have the Eight of Cups here. So yeah, whoever this person is, yeah, you, you could have told this person, you know, to exit stage left, you know, temperance at the bottom of the deck, definitely an earth angel. But, you know, who whoever this person is, they definitely were wolf in sheep clothing to you. They definitely were fake to you. And yeah, you could have told this person, look, you got to go your way and I'll go mine. But whoever this is, you know, they do have to, a lot of questions to ask you. And it's because of whatever they did on, on camera that is now spiraling out of control. I feel like that they have to walk away from a situation, whether it be, you know, a family situation, a relationship, a job. Take it how it resonates. And I feel like that they are contemplating, you know, coming towards you to ask you these questions. But the fact of the matter is, they know who you are. And again, when you're in the room, you're the highest in the room. And I feel like that they're intimidated. Yeah, the star in reverse. Yeah, they're intimidated because they are not connected to their to their higher selves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're intimidated because their light doesn't shine bright like yours. The star is in reverse. Yeah, and I do feel like that, you know, your wishes are coming true, but theirs aren't. And I feel like that they know that theirs aren't because they did whatever they did to delay destiny. Your wishes are coming true. Ace of Cups. Yeah. Total wish fulfillment, you know. I feel like that you're a master manifester, you know. Whatever you put out into the universe, you, you, you get it back. But it's because... You give more than you receive. It's because you help people. It's because you know your 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 intentions, your heart is is set on in in good intentions. It's because you do you try to help people as much as possible. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to these hidden cameras here, whoever this is, they were doing something with finances. Hidden cameras. Uh 
Oh, that's way too much spirit. Yeah, King of Pentacles. They were doing something with finances. They got caught on camera doing something, dealing with money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whoever this is, they're just focused on money, you know. But I feel like that it's in a bad way. It's in a very toxic way. And I feel like that, you know, they made a decision, you know, to do something, you know, toxic and karmic, dealing with money. And it's the snowball effect. Snowball effect. The emperor wanted to come out, so definitely could be, you know, about a work situation. You know, it could be a boss that caught this person. Or somebody of high stature could have caught this person. That That's the person that's seen this person on camera. Snowball effect. Yeah. Six of swords. So yeah, whoever this is, yeah. They possibly, you know, have lost their home. They possibly have to move. Or they possibly have to, you know, move to find another job. Because I'm, I'm picking up, for some of you, it is a, 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 a co-worker. But it doesn't have to be. But yeah, whoever this is, yeah, things are spiraling out of control. And they possibly do. They they, they have to, you know, um, possibly relocate or something like that. Because they were caught on camera. Maybe they want to relocate because they're embarrassed. Because they are getting karma. But karma never loses an address. So if this person is trying to relocate or they already have... They're still getting karma. It never loses an address. Yeah, four of wands at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, yeah, they relocated, you know, possibly moved. Karma never loses an address. Page of Swords. Yeah, karma never loses an address. And whoever this is, they can move all day. But somebody's watching this person. Somebody's watching this person. And I feel like somebody's reporting back, you know, as far as what this person is doing. Because whatever they did on, on camera, on hidden camera, it definitely could in, involve some type of, you know, legal action to be taken against this person in the future. So, yeah, there are people that are watching this person. This person, yeah, they're bitter, they're broke, they're bound. But it's because they feel like that they were delaying destiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the devil. Yeah, so they were doing a lot of toxic karmic things, you know? Not just one thing. They were doing a lot of toxic karmic things to delay to delay their destiny. But I feel like whatever was caught on camera, that was the, 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 the icing on the cake. And they are. They're realizing now that they were delaying their own destiny. And I feel like it's because it's a domino effect. Things keep happening in this person's life. First, they were caught on camera, you know, they possibly lost their job. They had a move, you know, and they and, and, and they know that, you know, even with them moving, people are still watching them, whoever this is. Yeah, four of Pentacles. Yeah, even though they know that they're delaying destiny, they're trying to hold on. They're trying to figure out, you know, what they can do, you know, to 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 get back on the path, you know. So that they can, you know, fulfill destiny. But at the same time, yeah, four of pentacles. Yeah, they stole something. They stole something. Mm-hmm. Yep. But it's also saying that they were delaying destiny because of money. Car head makes a soft behind. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. And I feel like what, what makes it so bad is whoever this is, they possibly whatever they were stealing, whatever, you know, they were thought that they were getting away with, they were actually giving it to other people. I don't know what it is, but they were giving it to other people. And I feel like that that's how this person got caught. It wasn't the fact that somebody was just purposely watching the camera. I feel like that somebody said something with the page of swords here somebody said something and then somebody went to look at the cameras and they saw it mm -hmm. yeah yeah ace of wands at the bottom of the deck and page of pentacles yeah somebody saw it and somebody said something mm -hmm. 
And yeah, whoever this is, they do know that there is a possibility that they will get locked up for doing whatever it is that they did. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, Queen of Swords energy. So yeah, whoever this is, you definitely deem this person as a wolf in sheep clothing. You definitely, you know, consider this person as fake. And I feel like that, you know, you let this person, told the person the truth, and then you turned your back and kept it moving. And so yeah, you definitely advocated for yourself, and that makes your ancestors happy. Whoever this is, I do feel like that because they operate in toxic, negative energy. They possibly were trying to take your kindness for weakness. And so you you had to let them know. And then you moved on. And so, yeah, your ancestors are happy for you advocating for yourself. Yeah. Five of Swords, yeah. But this person definitely does feel defeated, you know. And I feel like this person feels defeated because they, they feel like that they can't advocate for themselves. And at the end of the day, because they feel defeated, because they feel bitter, broken, bound, anything that they try to go towards in their life, it, it, they're feeling defeated. You know, people are saying, thank you, but no. Thank you, but no. You know, if they try to go get a job, thank you, but we, we pick somebody else. If they try to go get a, a you know, apartment or a house, thank you, but, you know, we have other other people that, you know, are, are going to be approved. I feel like whoever this is, they just feel defeated in their life, period. Yeah, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Thank you, next. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, yeah, whoever this is, you know, they realize why you know they're feeling defeated you know they realize it and it's because you know they they invested it in a toxic negative lifestyle they realize why people are you know turning them down left and right it's because they invested in a toxic karmic lifestyle mm -hmm. yeah whoever this is could be a masculine energy or fem it doesn't have to be could be a feminine energy but they realize that they operate as a child childish and immature mentality instead of a man Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they be doing too much. Whoever this person is. Yeah. And they've been, they've been operating in an immature mindset for a very, very long time. But whoever this is, they're realizing that they need to be a man. And I feel like that whoever this is, they want to come to you as a man, not as a page, but as a king. But they do. They have a lot of questions that they want to ask you. Yep. Because they, they, they want their wishes to come true. You know, they want to have wish fulfillment as well. But, they, but they're in despair. They're in despair. Because they know that there could be a legal situation, you know, to take place. And they don't know what to do. Somebody has 21 questions and 8 of cups. We have main person here. Masculine energy. But, you know, you can switch the genders. Masculine or feminine energy. But yeah, there is someone that, you know, has a lot of questions to, to ask you. I do feel like that, you know, this person listened to a lot of people, you know, in their life. They didn't, they didn't, you know, basically listen to, you know, themselves. They didn't listen to their intuition. And, and a lot of people that they listened to, you know, basically told them to do whatever you want to do, you know. Do whatever you want to do. You don't have to follow, you know, any type of rules or laws. But that was a lie. 
they led this person, you know, down a uh, down a, a dark hole. Mm -hmm. But whoever this person is, they see that you don't follow, you lead. Whoever this is, they're a follower, not a leader. You're a leader. That's a difference. And so whoever this is, I do feel like that's one of the reasons why they want to ask you a lot of questions. Because they do want to get their, their life back on track. Yeah, they look at you as, as a good lady. Highest in the room, the star in reverse. Yeah, rich girl. So yeah, whoever you are, you know, you, you definitely, you know, your mind, body, and spirit is definitely balanced. You know, people do see, you know, the God in you. And then on top of that, yeah, your wishes are coming true. You you are financially stable, you know, but I feel like that you do. You, you're a socialite, so you help people. This person, you know, they, they didn't, they, they don't operate in their highest, their, in their highest self. They haven't connected to their highest self. They don't know, you know, what it means to operate in your highest self, but you do. And so, yeah, whoever this person is, yeah, you, they see that your wishes are coming true. You know, you are a, a master manifester and whoever this is, they were, they were caught on hidden camera trying to gain a lot of money. They took a, a, a big old risk to gain a lot of money and they were hoping that, you know, they wouldn't get caught. They, they were hoping that, you know, them taking this money would, you know, bring great happiness to them. Your wishes are coming true. Ace of Cups. Yeah, a long way. Yeah. Whoever this pe person is, they definitely saw you come a long way. They definitely did see see you, you know, go through this transformation. And they do see, you know, that your wishes are coming true. But whoever this is, yeah, they did something on camera. They got caught and it has something to do with finances. And they know that they are going to have their time in court for sure. Hidden camera, King of Pentacles. Too many spirit. But the false person did come out on top of wolf and sheep clothing. I don't know if y'all seen it. Yeah, meetings in the reverse. So whoever this is, yeah, they they got caught on camera. And I feel like that, you know, there was no meaning to be had. I feel like that once the people saw, you know, um, this person doing whatever they were doing, they basically told this person, look, this is what's going to happen. And, and that's it. That's all. And so whoever this is, they also feel defeated because they feel like that there's nothing that they can do. Then, they, But they also feel defeated because they know that this was a part of their destiny whatever this situation is they know it was a part of their destiny and they know that they delayed it yeah part of their great happiness snowball effect six of swords gloomy thoughts so because things are spiraling out of control and, you know, maybe this person had to, you know, maybe they lost their house and had to pick up and, and move, you know, and maybe they moved somewhere where they didn't, they, they didn't want to live or maybe they had to move with, you know, relatives or something like that. Yeah, whoever this person is, they definitely are having gloomy thoughts. They're having gloomy thoughts. And I feel like it's because, you know, they possibly have moved. But even with them moving, they're still getting karma. Mm -hmm. Karma never loses an address. Page of Swords. Yep, his thoughts. And so all they, they can think about is what they have done. All they can do is look in the mirror and, you know, basically just kind of realize that it was their fault. Whatever they were doing, it was their fault, you know. And they and they're also realizing that yeah they were being watched. They're also realizing that they're still being watched. So I don't know what this person did, but hey, I don't know. Bitter, broken down, and the devil. Yeah, house. So whoever this is, you know, they again. They are still being watched no matter where they go. Karma never loses an address. And yeah, they're big, bitter, broken, bound. And so they're possibly having to live with other karmic people, other people that live toxic, negative li lifestyles. And so, yeah, that would be another reason why this person is still delaying destiny. It possibly does have something to do with, with work here. Delaying destiny. 
Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they took a risk to try to gain a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the reason why they they feel like that their destiny is delayed. That's not the only reason, you know. That's not the the them getting caught on camera is not the only reason. The fact of the matter is, the first reason is because they're they're not connected to their higher self. And so, of course, they're going to low vibe. So they're going to do low vibing things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, prison is at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, whoever this is, they know that there is a possibility that they're going to go. Hard head makes the soft behind. Six of Pentacles. expectation in the reverse so yeah whoever this is they're having gloomy thoughts because they do they possibly live with other people you know and you know they really don't have a lot to give to these people and so yeah they're expecting you know to basically get put out mm -hmm. yeah so whoever this is they they feel like that you know every time they blink they're getting karma It just started raining, y'all. So I feel like whoever this is, they are having gloomy thoughts. And I feel like that they are. They're, they're crying a lot. You know, they're very emotional. Whoop and sheep clothing. Queen of Swords. Yeah. Good lady. Good lady. And then false person uh, popped over as well. So yeah, whoever this is, you know, they were they they know that they were a false person to you, you know? But you but but they know that you're a good lady, you know? You speak truth and you possibly did try to help this person out, but they but they, you know, didn't take the help at the time. They didn't listen, you know? They thought that they knew everything. And now they see that they they don't know too much of nothing. Yep. So you cut this person out of your life, you know? It could be a co or an ex co worker, you know. It, it, I don't know whose message this is for, but you know, you cut this person out of your life and you definitely advocated for yourself, and that makes your ancestors very happy. Five of Swords, yeah, that makes your ancestors very happy. High honor, uh oh, and great happiness, yeah. But whoever this is, they feel defeated. They feel defeated because, again, they're still trying to figure out their life, you know, because there are a lot of things that are going on in this person's life. And, and, and they are getting thank you to next it every every time they turn a corner, every time, you know, they make a phone call to try to get something new for themselves. They're being they're They're getting thank you next next. It, and they realize, you know, why they don't have great happiness at this moment in time. Thank you. Next seven of pentacles. Yeah, receiving a gift in the reverse. It's because they're not connected to their higher self, you know? They're not, they're not, ah, they're not using, you know, their intuition. They're not following, you know, God's plan for their life. Yeah, and they're definitely facing grief and adversity because of it. But there is a guardian angel back there watching this person, you know, because whoever, because the spirit guides, angels and ancestors want to see what, what this person really wants to do. What questions do they do they want to ask you? Because they can go to God. They they can get their own relationship with the Most High. You know, with their spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. And that's the reason why this person is stuck. Because they want to ask you. Even though, yeah, you are a middleman to the Most High. But at the end of the day, this person needs to get their own relationship with, with their spiritual advisors. You know? Whoever this is. And then on top of that, living room in the reverse came out. So, yeah, whoever this is, they feel like... And I don't feel like whoever they're living with or wherever they are, you know, these people don't know, you know, what has taken place in this person's life. And so living room in the reverse, whoever this is, their secrets have came out, you know, and I feel like whoever this is, they're getting ready to be told, you know, to go ahead and, 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 and move on. Because whoever this is, they're probably a wolf in sheep clothing to, to the other people as well. Whoever this is, they're really lost. And so, in my opinion, there's no reason why this person should come and ask you any questions. Because 
are they what are they going to do with these questions are they just going to put them in their back pocket and never use them you know when you give them the answers or when you try to help them because at the end of the day i feel like you've already tried to help this person but they but they deemed themselves to be a wolf in sheep clothing so they knew that they were being fake to you and you were telling this person the truth you were speaking truth to this person and they didn't listen so that possibly is why this person is intimidated to come towards you because you've already tried to help this person and they didn't take the advice they didn't take the wisdom and knowledge that you shared with them and so the only other thing that they can do is 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 ha get a relationship with the Most High, with their spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, so that they can get some clarity about their life. You can't tell them about how to get back on track with with it when it comes to their destiny, because it's not your destiny. It's their destiny, and so if they want it, then they have to go get it, and they have to go to the person that gave it to them to ask them what do they need to do to get it back. You know, that's just like. For example, like a kid in school, right? So sitting in school and, you know, there's a kid and they don't know what to do. And so they ask another student like, OK, well, how do I do these math questions? Right. And so the student shows them exactly how to do the math questions. But this person, they're not really paying attention. And so when it's time to do the test, they fail the test. And then they try to go back and ask this person questions like, well, I thought you said such and such. I thought you said such and such. And the person is like, yeah, it, but if you would have listened, then you wouldn't have failed. And and so then the, the, the same student, you know, that helped this person the first time is like, look, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I done helped you. You know, you didn't listen. You weren't paying attention. You was on your phone. You was over there talking to, 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 to Larry and them. I don't know what to tell you. You're going to have to go to the teacher and ask the teacher. The same way in this situation. Whoever this is, they can they can ask you questions all day, but you can't answer the questions that they need, you know, answers to, to be honest. Because you can tell this person all day, you need to connect to your higher self. Well, they're just going to follow it up with another question. Well, what's your, what's, what's your higher self? Go do your research. Go study. You know what I'm saying? Go meditate. Go pray. Go ask God what is your higher self. Go ask God these questions. Go ask the teacher. You know, whoever this is, that's what they need to do. They don't need to come and ask you questions when you've already helped, when you've already tried to help this person and they didn't take the help, you know. And I don't feel like I don't feel like that, you know, your ancestors want you to continue to answer questions, you know, dealing with this person because that's just bringing negative toxic energy into your energy. Whoever this person is, they need to get a relationship with the most high and all their questions will be asked. I will be answered, y'all. So that's been the message. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Or like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon.